Hey guys, how you doing? How you doing? Well, it is the end of another day, and uh, I just actually woke up from a nap, but I did work all day. Yeah, probably shouldn't have because it's like 112 today or something. But you know, you work and you don't pay attention. And uh, today I was a little bit more aware of it because, well, one, it was hot, but my wife was coming out and sharing with me that it was too hot, that I shouldn't be working. She also shared that there was a couple of guys that and you just saw in the news that died from heat stroke, you know. One guy went out to go fishing or something and wound up finding them in the sugar cane. Just, you know, heat stroke, these guys. But uh, today what I did was uh, I did electrical work. I did have to buy some extra conduiting, but one of the things I did, and here we'll check it out, was I put a receptacle here. It's actually uh, got two USB ports. I don't know why that cable's still in there. Three plugs. I did run the line after, I, I actually I punched a hole. <clears throat> right. I took apart this receptacle. Just took it off and, you know, drilled a hole right through the wall with my hammer drill. And then, uh, ran conduit here and then all the way up and all the way over and this wire is hanging right now of course that is a live wire I probably should remind my wife that that's a live wire <laughs> let me see if I can't get electrocuted here try and put this up whoa 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 there we go. Oh. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So and I also what I do is you can see, you can hardly even see it, right? Because I use that galvanized spray paint that I do after a weld. You know, you spray it out after a weld, like right on there. I sprayed that whole pipe, and then on this one I painted it, of course, with the gray, make it all blend in. So that looks pretty cool, right? It's, uh, I ran the wire out there because, you know, I haven't decided what it's gonna look like, but obviously we wanna run lights that way. That'd be good. So, in my shop, what I did was, I, um, and just now when I was waking up and thinking about my work, you know, I was thinking, you know what, hey, I, I should probably, um, or is it? I should probably make a switch. I, I, I actually made these lights. This light here. Uh, actually, that's an old light. They're just stuffed up in there. That I just put a zip tie on it. Uh, there's another light here. But I'm going to probably put a. What's that? A switch somewhere. I ran conduit here. You gotta move, well, you can't really see it. I'll move this out of the way, maybe, without messing up everything. But uh, the line was, I still have to fix this, but the line, that white conduit goes down into the kitchen from the inside of the house. What I did is I intercepted that there and cut it open and it basically spliced into it. That plug that's in the kitchen is like where the microwave and all that would be, so it's like a 32 amp. And, um, but what happened was this blue line here, it's a one inch, it goes down to a, uh, down to this single half inch. I, I chipped out the cement floor, trench that, I'm gonna cover it with cement, and I just ran it all the way up here. And then I ran it across and down and just kind of passed it over underneath. And I put a four by here. And then there's a single plug uh, switch breaker for the water pump actually. Because we had been using the, um, 
What's that? We had been using the extension cord for the water pump. I was running the extension cord from inside the house actually. And uh, if I needed something in the shop, I would just, you know, fix it like that, the extension cord. But now I don't have to do that anymore. Actually, I think I had this rigged before, but then when we created the house and had to do all the electrical, I had to cut all that up off. So I had to redo this. So I got the switch back now for the pump. I got four plugs right now. I'm gonna actually put, I got another plug series that I, got going everything and uh, this is that gray flex I was talking about for the not flex but the gray stuff and uh, yeah so I'm gonna box that up and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a box over here next to the table and run it to this box although this is already daisy chained that and you know I'm basically daisy chained to that but anyway, so yeah, I think it's gonna be all right. You know, it's not it's not a whole big old professional thing, but I needed it to be out of the way, so I ran this conduit. I had this conduit already. And I already had this stuff. Actually, I had these. These were from a different, these elbows were from a different uh, set of uh, pipes I was doing. So these are too big for this, but they work. That'll work. Anyway, I also have a light here, so. I got one light here that's actually on a plug and I got one light there so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect these two together and then run the line to you know I don't know maybe I should connect them here and run the line this way to a switch but then uh, I'll have to do I, I have to intercept this again to make this maybe a switch right here yeah but it's all right you know at least i have light if i come out in the morning i can you know i can work out here i can put the fan on and turn the lights on and actually see stuff chase mosquitoes away but i actually what i did was and i had leftover wire you know i tried to do all this stuff mostly leftover stuff leftover wire from when the house was uh wired up and it was enough to pull all the way through here. I pulled it all the way through, but it stopped like right here, you know? And I was like, man. Um, so I had to splice. I did actually find one leftover piece that was twi twisted together. So it was all three, you know, the ground, the hot, and the neutral. And uh, it was just long enough to meet that other piece. But then when I put the, um, you know, I. I twisted it together. I put caps on it too because it's kind of a thicker wire. So I had to crank it down. And when I put the caps on there, it wouldn't, it's not going to fit. Even with the splices, it wouldn't have fit in that white pipe. So I, and I actually didn't even have any more white pipe at that time. So I wound up uh, taking it and um, Putting, found an extra piece of that one inch that I had laying around. I was like, yeah, I'll fit in there. So I just ran it up in that. And that was long enough to go up against the wall. Boom, got her done. So now I got uh, electrical. Don't have to worry about power cords. And I also have my uh, plugs and USB ports for the porch, or, you know. For the, I don't even call that, the deck, terrace, porch, something. And my battery just died right there. I had to go get another battery. But, yeah, so, it all worked out. A little bit of electrical work today. Did not shock myself, did not trip the breaker. So I must be getting better at it. <laughs> but I tell you, I don't know, you probably can't see it, but and it's probably five o'clock or something right now, but there's some serious smoky issues. The what the the air, oh my god. I can tell people are burning. It's already over there. You can see it maybe. I'll see if you can see it. You know, a little bit normally you'd see those rolling hills over there. 
can't see any of that. There are some blue sky up there a little bit, but it looks like it's gonna rain, you know, that's what it looks like. It's, it's got that gray feeling, you know, like it's gonna rain on you, but it's not. And I did find, uh, you know, I found all these little parts for my rig, for my, you know, set up here with my camera, right? I think in my previous video I showed you because it, you know, it, I kept having that <coughs> scratching, man. And uh, I finally found the, I was looking through all my stuff, I found that one, that little stretchy one with the, like that, the one that actually goes to it. But I don't know if it's going to be enough. I don't know if that's going to make it not scratchy or not. Maybe I should move it around. Yeah. I'll find out when I go to edit there, see if it's got scratches from doing that. But, I mean, just walking and talking with it, probably not a problem. But when you're riding on the motor scooter and there's wind blowing it and it's moving around, you know, at least with the shotgun mic. I mean, I could just not use the shotgun mic and go ahead and, you know, do it like that. But we got a few, uh, Bananas going here. Yep. Those aren't too far away. There was actually bananas here. And I was getting ready to pick them. You can see through the mangoes too. Um, I was getting ready. I was going, oh yeah, they're, they should be ready now. They're, they're almost ready. And they're gone. I'm like, what the hell? I think what happened was, uh, you know, one of our aunties came over and uh, snatched them up. You know, which they tend to do come over I mean you know think about it I was I was thinking about it the other day and that is that you know before we came back to retire here the farm was basically neglected right it was just this kind of wild place where things grew and you know the mom might come over once in a while and plant something and this or that maybe not recently but um and the sister took care of uh some rice out here and this and that but anyway the other family members cousins aunts or whatever they had no problem being able to come over here and say you know what i need to get like you know a handful of this or a handful of that or like the one auntie you know she sells at the market uh, little packs of vegetables, you know, like the the basil and this and that, and, uh, and mangoes or whatever. I don't know. Might be not too many mangoes, but you know, we we have different kinds of mangoes here. We got that one kind. I just had it today. It's like I, I don't know. There's a bunch of different names for it, but my wife says it's the the name is translated roughly to the tongue of a cobra. So that mango tastes pretty good. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so they would come over probably pretty regularly and, you know, and take, get stuff, you know, get a bunch of limes, get a bunch of, of basil, get a bunch of this, that, and all that other stuff. And then we came. We came back and now um, maybe they kind of felt like, I don't know if I can do that anymore. It was free rain while we were gone, but the reality is that I don't really care because uh i mean they're not taking everything you know the auntie that came over and you know and chopped down these trees to get to the leaves at the top you know that to me that that's a bit much i mean come on cut the tree down just to get you know two dollars worth of vegetables i don't know i understand and i know things grow quick here and stuff but i like the big trees I want them to grow as tall and as big as they can on this side. There's nothing here. They can fall over. You know, it's all right. There's nothing here. Um, of course, when I put the uh, build that Paula out there with the roof and stuff, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll have a different idea because we wouldn't want the tree falling and crushing that thing, would you? Unless I make it 
to, uh, you know, make it to where it can get crushed and I won't have to worry about it. Look for snake holes. I got my, my thongs on. But I also still have a whole bunch of wood. Big wood piles, my big wood piles. I told my wife not to burn that. Just to let it let it get dry. Really dry. And then maybe when the rains come and it wash away all this incredibly bad smog that we can uh, we can burn it then. They were burning at night. I think these guys are waiting. These are my some of my other neighbors off in the corner over there. And I think they're waiting whoa, for just uh, the cover of darkness. Because there is a there is a burn ban law, right? Especially now. I mean, Kampang Pit, our village, you know, hit the news with being the third worst in the country with air quality. Uh, next to Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai or something way up north. But a lot of that has to do with, you know, the weather and the heat, but also because people are burning. And the burns, you know, if there's no wet, if there's no wind and it's really hot, all that stuff kind of stays low and stays there. You breathe it, man. People are flooding the hospital with breathing issues. I don't have any of those, but I did feel a little bit strained this morning while working because it was uh, it was hot, man. I, mean, I, I this stuff was just pouring off of me. I also put a uh, other than doing all this electrical, I put a um, shelf underneath the kitchen sink and stove my wife wanted a shelf in there to put whatever underneath the sink so i um i was in there drilling the holes and stuff for the mounts you know it didn't have the air con on or anything like that and dude it was like a sauna in there crazy but i'm gonna have to uh be aware of that especially if it's supposed to I, my wife told me it was the news said it was supposed to be 52 or something like that I was like 52 52 is like no that's some crazy temperatures that's like 120 or something although I think I saw that last year you know at least for one day or something like that but yeah man all this stuff probably die if my wife wasn't out here watering this stuff. She waters like three times a day or something like that. Keep all this green. We just she just mowed the lawn actually with our electric lawnmower. So, but yeah, very nice, very nice. And wasn't sure about how that would survive actually. Just stuck it in the ground. Same with that one. But they are surviving. Thankfully. Things are starting to get a little bit more green. That one, this one tree out here. I remember they were burning at night. One night, not too long ago, like a couple weeks ago, they were burning at night. And this tree right here, this, this tall one with the leaves on it, um, I took a picture maybe I can throw it up on the screen I took a picture of this tree with the fire in the background and there's no leaves on that tree it's just like three pieces of wood and then when this thing starts growing I mean literally that stuff kind of probably leaves within three four days they grow and it comes out same with all those big trees over there there were no green leaves on these trees the, the, Basically all these green leaves came, you know, in a matter of probably two weeks, there was like a ton of leaves that come on the trees. So next year when they, or this year, you know, when all the leaves fall off and the trees are barren, I noticed that. And I don't know, I can't, I'm gonna have to try and remember how long they've been that way. I could probably look on videos how long they stay with no leaves. 
when they start getting leaves I'm gonna run up my time-lapse see if I can't watch the whole tree I should be able to because it's only a period of weeks you know I did the time-lapse on the house construction that was a five-day thing I was able to handle that this other I have more bananas over here this banana tree actually fell down it broke over a little scrawny guy it had little bananas but I stuck a stick under there and now the bananas are actually gonna survive man I learned that from doing that before a few bananas on the island of Saipan when I lived there always had banana trees that would fall over I would just go ahead and pick them back up I mean they fell all the way over like in a hurricane or a tornado I mean typhoon and uh, they fall completely over and now we just go out and bring them back up and stick a stick underneath there and they'd still grow you know mostly because they're sucking up water in a million rings right so the same actually I did that with the papaya papaya tree I think it was a storm or whatever fell over and there's some young papaya on there and my wife was like nah never mind man I was like what no so I stuck it up there put the bucket up against it and now it's firmly planted and it's already been already produced like I don't know a dozen papaya already and you still got more over there there's probably another 10 on there so I saw the neighbor out there just a minute ago he was walking over there looking at the land and I can see that it's all brown although I, I thought I saw them burn that already he's either going to burn it or he's checking it out like you know what oh the burn worked it's starting to get green I can flood it now get more action so I don't know oh speaking of electrical I did uh, my wife ordered another solar light and we were debating where to put it and she's like I want it all here so I put it right up here on the corner the solar panels up on the top of the roof over here so I just mounted it to the front right corner it's a pretty pretty bright light man oh here's the and here's the fire I was talking about you can see that pretty big man so yeah works out pretty good so that light has it has two it only has two modes kind of like dim not dim but you know a bright light and then a brighter light and it can go pretty big but I got to tilt it down because you know if I'm driving in my truck and I'm gonna come up here to park I can't have that light staring straight at me in the face you know? so no oh, I did buy another bag of cement there that's for that part of the patio the other patio the one that has like a pier so I can cement that up I'm also gonna make some uh, some pavers with the rest of that and put the put those uh, little rocks I bought little brown pebbles or whatever to make custom pavers so that'll work out anyway that's about it I guess update on my electrical see what I've done today it's a little bit cooler now but it's still probably 100 so if you're out there and burn it up man stay safe but uh, like always thanks for watching and keep watching and I'll get back at you